Hey y'all, it's Monday. Good morning. If you're new to the channel, I'm Shanina. Hey girl, hey. And we left off last night, me making a pizza, but I never came back. I never came back. Y'all was too tired. I ain't even gonna lie. I ended up making some brownies because I had been telling Olivia that I was gonna make them for like a week. I was supposed to, well, probably longer than that. What is today? Today is Monday, April 15th. So ever since easter i have been saying i was gonna make these brownies and i haven't done it so i did that last night uh, then i started editing the last vlog so if you guys didn't see that go check that out um i started editing and then i got tired of doing that <laughs> And then I did uh, finish Olivia's hair, so she didn't want me to do anything to it per usual child. I don't know. She's going through a thing right now where she don't want nothing done to her hair other than just to wear, you know, her ponytail. So what I did was it was dry most of the way because it uh, I let it air dry overnight and I put a bunch of grease in it. So I wanted to make sure that middle was dry dry. So I did run the blow dryer through it a little bit. I'm struggling with this mascara that I was showing y'all in the last vlog. Anyway, but yeah, so um, I blow dried her hair just a little bit on low heat. And then I ran through it with a flat iron real quick. So it's not bone bone straight, but it's manageable enough for her because she's still getting into doing like her own hair and stuff. So I try to make it where she can at least manage it and not get frustrated because of her hair type, you know. Anyways, okay, so I'm going to try this mascara. This is what we're going to wear today. That beauty intuition that I was showing y'all, it's a better lighting. So it's pink. If you guys want to pick it up, it's at the Dollar Tree. They had some other ones. This is the Instant Plump and Curl. <sighs> I put too much sugar in my coffee, and I think it's got me a little bit jittery right now. All right. Oh, and that stuff I just put on my face was this right here, this moisturizer. I need to get some sunscreen, because last summer... Oh my goodness, that sun did me in, honey. Y'all remember my one arm was darker than the other? And then my face was dark? Alright, my hand's a little jittery, so... Hold on a second, because I don't want to poke myself in the eye. Anywho, so I'm about to go to work per use. And I need to stop by Dollar Tree so that I can get me some toothpaste. The Crest is on sale at Kroger for 99 cents. However, it's only specific ones. So it's the baking soda peroxide whitening, the tartar, and the cavity protection. Those are the only three that are part of the deal. And then the Crest Sensitive, which is what I use, it's $2.99 on sale. So, I can get it cheaper at the Dollar Tree. And it's not that big of a deal because I'm the only one that uses that one. The rest of the house uses the other one. So, I'll probably still pick up a tube or two of the one that's on sale at Kroger. Um, just to have, like, backup or whatnot. <sighs> okay, this spoolie is different from the one that I'm used to, so it's like, I feel like, I know what it is. That's because I'm using this mirror. You know what? Okay, let me finish this, because I should have did my eyebrows first. That's the order I normally go in, but I guess I just wanted to give my quick opinion on this. Okay, so we're going to do a second coat because on the instructions, if y'all remember, it said to do the second coat before the first coat dries. They were fancy at the Dollar Tree with this. 
okay? I'm still tripping off of that lip gloss instructions. I've never bought lip gloss that had instructions on how to apply it. That was funny to me. Much, much, much later. What act was a cause for the revolution? Stamp Act. Oh, right. What years did the French and Indian War last? When did it start and when did it end? 1817 something? Mm -hmm. It's not 17 something, it's 17 what? No, you know what I mean. Okay, like. Is it after 1750 or before 1750? It's after. 17. They fought from 17. Dang, they fought for a long time. 1754 to 1763. What was the cause of the American Revolution? Okay, there were multiple causes. So, well, what, what was the first one? The first one? Well, name one of the causes. The Stamp Act? Right. Wait, is the Boston Tea Party one of the causes? Mm -hmm. Oh, taxation? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Taxation. And yeah, there, it does, yeah, the Boston Tea Party. Taxation, stamp act, Boston Tea Party. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, the soldier thing? Hmm? The soldiers, where they didn't want soldiers coming in the houses. Hmm. Proclamation of 1763. Uh -oh. All right, so we'll start from the top. Causes of the revolution. The French and Indian War fought from 1754 to 1763 was a cause of the American Revolution. In this war, the French and Indians teamed up against the British in the American colonies, including Georgia. This war was won by the British in the American colonies, but it caused a huge war debt for Britain. Because of the war debt, the British taxed the colonies. The proclamation of 1763 was another cause of the American Revolution. This was a proclamation from the King of Britain that said that the colonists could not pass the Appalachian Mountains. Appalachian Mountains. You know, uh, Appalachian. Listen, let me, let me, let me. I actually saw this short the other day, and it was two guys. One was saying Appalachian, and the other one was like, "No, we pronounce it." It's in our town where we, because he said he lived by those mountains, right? He said Appalachian, Appalachian mountains or something like that. So then they asked Alexa and Alexa was like Appalachian or Appalachian or something like that. Anyway, for the fear of Native Americans would kill them. This made the colonists angry because they wanted to settle where they chose. What was the Stamp Act? Hmm. Does it have to do with stamps or is it something else? Does it deal with newspapers? Mm -mm. Oh, kind of, but not really. Papers is in the right direction. Do you put stamps on papers? Mm -mm. The Stamp Act was another cause of the revolution. This act was passed by the British. It taxed the colonies with a tax on paper goods. Oh. <laughs> the, 
The colonies hated this. They refused to purchase the stamps. They only, the only colony that purchased stamps was Georgia. Georgia.
all right y'all so we're back it's the next day it is tuesday and i'm on my way home child i'm tired tired like i'm so tired that i'm not even walking the same i'm walking in slow-mo when i pick stuff up i feel like my muscles are about to give out child your girl been working working okay working working so anyway i just came out of dollar tree and out of all the stuff that they had in there they only had one new thing actually they had two new things so in my local dollar tree okay so the first thing was this which i smelled it as soon as i was walking up to it and that's what made me buy it because i was like oh this smells good and i thought it was just one whole candle but it's four it's four beach cocktail candles so it's kiwi mojito infused with kiwi mint and lime mango iced tea notes of mango and black tea cherry pop fun bubble fun bubbly black cherry island mimosa refreshing lemonade with a splash of watermelon so this is the i fly smart and they had a whole little display i'm pretty sure when i come if i decide to come in here tomorrow they're probably going to all be gone but these are so cute they come in little tin packagings it says i fly on the front i fly smart and then it has the flavor or the fragrance so this one is the kiwi mojito y'all these candles are so strong like i was smelling it as i was walking through the store and i hadn't even opened the box to see what they smelled like up close yet i was literally smelling it through the box but that was this and um i was about to say that was the only new thing but they also had a collection of nancy drew books y'all talk about last from the past honey so i got these for olivia because although she isn't a huge fan of reading i still like to buy her books so um i got two of them so nancy drew diaries by carolyn keen so i got the secret at mystic lake and famous mistakes they had another one it was the haunting of lake something but uh, i didn't want to you know I wasn't sure how deep it, they were going to go into the haunting part of it. Because I haven't read these books in years, y'all. But that's all they had inside the Dollar Tree. I just picked up a thing of, um, I was looking for some disinfectant bleach, but they don't have any. The little small Clorox bottles. And that's the only type of bleach that I buy because that's what I clean with. So I just got this uh, kitchen cleaner with bleach. And then a Coke. Their Coke's the, uh, what is this? The 42.2 fluid ounce or the 1.25 liters. They're now 175. So got that and some candle tea lights. I was at Walmart. Their toilet paper was ridiculously expensive. So I have a couple rolls at the house. But since I was in here, I just grabbed one of these rolls because I really don't feel like running into Kroger. Like, I'm really ready to go home, y'all, <laughs> and take a shower. I'm sweaty. So that's what I'm about to do. Okay, y'all, so we're back, and I'm sitting at my desk doing some research because I told y'all I picked this up, the iFly. Uh-oh, is the light is the light a bit much? Because it's still daytime. It's only it's 6 o'clock, so I've been home for a little bit. But the iFly candles that I picked up from the Dollar Tree that I showed y'all. So I Googled it because I was like, this is this is giving quality candles okay like it's not it's not lightweight it's pretty heavy actually and these smell really good like they smell really good i don't i don't even want to burn any of these but anyway y'all so i googled them to see where you can where these originally came from basically and the website that you can buy these from if you don't see them in the dollar tree is iflyluggage.com 
However, you ain't going to get it for $1.25 though, girl. You're going to get it for $19.98 because that's how much these are worth. There's a couple of people selling them on reseller sites. So like Poshmark, a young lady is selling hers for $10. On Macari, somebody's selling theirs for $19. And let's see. It looks like somebody is on eBay selling these as well, but it's a different fragrance. And there's a two-packer. So it's a two-pack. Uh, and the candles are, of course, a little bigger. So this one right here is called the Cocktail Scented Candle Set. So these are travel candles. You can take these with you when you travel. So let me let me click on the website here. What else do they offer, girl? I'm curious. Okay. Let's see. Child, they've got luggage, bags, accessories, TSA lock. They even offer a warranty. And you can make four interest-free payments of $5 with Sezzle for this product if you want it bad enough. They're sold out, but... I guess when they get back in stock, <laughs> that's what you can do. That's what you can do. Um, it's crazy that they're sold out, though, and there was, like, literally a whole display of them as soon as you walked in the store. So, that's kind of weird. 100% uh, cotton wick, palm wax blend, and approximately six hours of fragrance per candle. Okay, girl. So, yeah, they got water bottles. Packable duffels, some luggage on wheels, with the wheels. Let's look at the reviews for this. Let's, let me see, make sure this is the particular one we just picked up. Yeah. Let me see. 1.5 ounce tin that can easily pack, that you can easily pack, travel with, and store. From hotel rooms to beach houses to your bedside table, raise a glass and enjoy your cocktail candles any and everywhere. Oh, they fancy. Um, 5.5 5 star review. There are a total of 284 reviews. 276 people gave it a 5 star. So let me see. Best idea, love it. For one of the candles, for one, the candles smell amazing. I love the string scent of every single one of them. Okay. And that was back in November of last year. So wait, no one's purchased these recently? All these reviews are from the same day? Oh, okay. From no, the same month? Girl, how far do these go back? Let's see, that's October. So the last review on their website is in November. So they've been out of stock since November? Is it safe to assume that? And now they're at the Dollar Tree? Wait a minute, something smells fishy. It's Wednesday, happy Wednesday, happy hump day. And I'm at the end of the day on my shift. I just dropped off to my last, well, I'm pulling an executive decision for it to be the end of my shift because girl, I'm tired, okay? But yeah, isn't that cool? They live in a cabin. I've dropped off here a bunch. The first time I ever dropped off here, I was a bit confused because all I could see was trees. And so I just drove down the driveway it's a pretty long driveway but i always just park at the end of the driveway for the exercise but yeah it's pretty cool i like this uh this drop off they're really nice 
they always have whatever instructions they want me to do they're always ready for it so if they say leave it at the front door you know don't put my food on the ground then they'll actually have like a table out that you can put their food on you'd be surprised how many drop-offs I've had where they say well don't leave my food on the ground but they don't have a table or anything for me to put it on so I just end up putting it on the ground but yeah so earlier I attempted to open the vlog I was doing some orders but I had an awful headache oh, let me turn. Let me roll down the window. y'all my head was hurting so bad for the for most of the day and it was hurting so bad that it had my stomach hurting and I was feeling kind of lightheaded a little bit so at some point I did eventually stop to get something to eat I ate off my little McDonald's app I got some water from Chick-fil-a before I was able to get something to eat but I just used my little McDonald's app um to yeah mcdonald's app because it's really really cheap so every anything that i get from there is under five dollars um so that's why i use the app and then i rack up a lot of points when i have olivia with me and stuff so i'm able to just get like free food and stuff so anyways they live off of a uh a really busy street so let me let y'all go and i'll come back because i need to Make sure I don't get in no accident trying to back out of their driveway onto this busy street. All right, I'll be back. All right, so I was passing by a rainbow on the way home, so I'm about to go inside and check them out, girl. I still have yet to run across that Bakawa dude, so maybe they'll have it in here. I haven't been in here in forever, so we'll see. Attention customers, our tap to pay services are down. Alright. Go to the clearance section. It's a nice size look, nice size rainbow. This is the sales rack. Then they got the three dollar rack. Are these dresses or skirts? Like, are these like kind of like tube top dresses, or are these skirts? Cause my crazy self will wear it as a dress, girl. I don't care. I wear it as a whole dress. Pull it up over my boobs and everything, and keep it moving. Only around the house, though. Oh, this is a dress. And this is something I could just wear around the house. 
because I like to be free in the house, but I do have to keep in mind that my stepson comes in and out, so I can't be walking around completely naked. Oh man, these are all too big. Oh well, it wasn't meant. It wasn't meant for me again. Oh, these are five dollars. This is like a little nightgown or something. It looks small, girl. I'll bust right up out of this. Okay, moving right along. These um, love handles will bust right up out of that dress. Mm -hmm. oh, of course, that would be too big. A 4X. Another three dollar rack with all the little itty bitty shirts for the itty bitty girls. Mm -hmm. All right, so I came here for the perfumes and stuff, but got distracted by this clearance section. For grown kids, I mean, okay, these gotta be right, for babies. So for the babies, need... these gotta be for the babies. Oh, they got some cute little summer shoes. Okay, I gotta get my feet right, girl, before I slide these critters, these dinosaur paws, up in somebody's shoe, somebody's sandal.